I know, I know. You guys are so excited. Ecstatic. Is that, is that the word I'm looking for? Doesn't matter. To pull for this new Jenna. I know. We've been waiting for a non-OC character for a better part of half a year now at this point. And uh, Jenna is the one they went with. How exciting! The character is actually not that bad. Like, the unit is actually not that bad. So we're, we're pulling for her. We're checking um, what we can do with her. The banner is absolute horse crap. It's the first minute of the video. I can't swear. It's not It's it's not a good banner. Not a good banner. We're pulling her. And we'll see. We'll see. She's actually pretty decent. The only issue with this unit is the same as any rerun character that isn't like a brand new named version of a character. The stats are complete ass. It's been over a minute, I can say it. It's complete ass! So, we have terrible CC. And not only that, the bastards even gave her a card that has no effect. So the the way this unit works, right? I'm gonna read it verbatim from the 7DS leaks uh, translations here from Kane. He ends the trans dude. It is insane how small her translations are compared to every character we've got recently. Dude, she barely does things. Uh, he Kane. Right, he's, he's been translating, because uh, apparently he is Korean, so he, and the, this game is Korean if you don't know, I don't know why you, you wouldn't know that, the game is Korean. We play the Japanese version, but actually if I wanted to be true to the re better release schedule, I'll play the Korean version, I just didn't know. And I'm now I'm too invested, now I'm too invested, I can start Korea, I already, I, how, long, how much have I played on this account? I can just start, whatever. Any case, he ends with... Uh, the Dokkan Worldwide Celebration is very hype, to be honest, and it is! I'll be playing it, I'll be playing it. Not in this channel, I'll be playing it on my free time, for my own enjoyment, but yeah, the Dokkan... The Dokkan Battle Worldwide Celebration looks pretty hype, it does. In any case, this unit is essentially... Essentially a relic. What do I mean by that? So, you do know Nanashi? She, she is that, but like worse and for humans. I'll explain. As soon as I level her up. As we unlock her passive, I accidentally double paused on my recording software. I hope that didn't completely mess up the recording. We'll, we'll see. We'll find out. As we unlock her passive, I'll read off what she does. And pay attention because it's so long. You might, you might get lost on this uh, wall of text. Increases attack related stats of human allies by 10%. And if a human ally dies at the enemy's turn, apply a debuff that increases enemy damage by 50%. That's it. We live in a society <laughs> where every new character takes 20 minutes for me to finish reading their passive. A little refreshing to see a character that takes 20 seconds. So. That's how she does. That, that's really it. Um, she has terrible CC because she is Jenna. And she has a holy relic. Dude, she's so ass. <laughs> she's going to she's going to be a good back hitter. <laughs> Trust. Now, as you can see, her passive works as a back unit. And what that means is that she works pretty well with her relic. People already used to use her in the back, the blue Jenna. Blue, it's blue, right? I think it is. Uh, as a back unit for the relic, which was 12% attack related stab buff to human allies. Now, the new one gives 22% in total. And that's really it. Now, there are a few issues in this equation here. You see, back when this 
thing was meta. This other thing... Where, where is she? Was also meta, right? It was like a hyper damage human team with Roxy, LR Escanor, and... I don't remember exactly who the third was, but that, that, that was the idea, right? It was like a hyper damage... So you wanted the actual attack related stats. Now, the the best human unit is technically Ascanor, which is gonna make good use of the attack related stats. But really, why is Arthur getting away from this? The attack related stats, not much. I mean, it's not zero because te technically speaking, his card actually does scale with attack but we all know his real scaling is hp so let's see what happens by the way this is obviously the current uh human team i don't know why uh i don't know why this is the link for arthur right here but uh t see also i just i don't know man. Now for me also uses defense. He doesn't use uh, attack, so we're 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 gonna have to replace him, right? We're gonna put uh, Jenna in the back instead of Percival, right? So Percival goes away, and I mean Askar stays. Do we even keep Arthur? Like, what are we supposed to do here? I, we have to remove now for me, right? So I guess we put Lil. Lilia? LR Lilia? I mean, we, we, we gotta go for, like, a, a hyper damage sort of situation here, no? How else are we supposed to go about this? Yeah. I, I don't know, like, we kinda... If we're gonna go to use Jenna, which is gonna tank our CC to an unimaginable rate at that point we might as well just go full damage except i, I guess lilia is there for a, a little bit of uh, extra cc and tankiness but like we might as well at that point with this character being a 242 banner right no surprise i'm going second i have jenna on my team so it's not a surprise whatsoever i'm going second uh, with uh, all the box CC in the world and whatever. <laughs> Anyways. What are the chances of Jenna being in any way related with the possible collab we should be getting next week? It could be. Oi. Oi, you bastard. Where's your passive? Where's the debuff? A human died. Huh? They're not debuffed. What? Do I have brain damage? If human allies die at the enemy's turn, applies debuff that increases damage taken by 50% to all enemies for two turns. Roxy died on the enemy's turn. Where's my debuff? Does it only work if Jenna's in the front? There's no way. What? This has to be a bot, right? I'm going first, there's no way. There's no way, bruh. So we're getting the 22% attack related stats. I can't really see it on him. Yeah, it's right there. I mean that's really it, right? Like <laughs> That's all there is to it. That's 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 the character, that's the end of it. That you're getting 22% attack related stats, that's it. Is it worth running? I don't think so. Like, you... the CC loss is so crazy, bro. 
It is so crazy. I guess I should still run Arthur instead of Lilia, because Lilia kind of sucks, but... I was like... Yeah, I should, I should. Arthur would give me more CC as well. It would compensate. I'm just... So... Baffled. That the... The debuff... Didn't go off. Did, no, Melly wouldn't have cleansed it. Because that was still my turn. Yeah, this team fucking so dude. I have zero. I have zero. This this team is a zero. This is not how like Roxy is not a unit anymore. She's she has long gone from being a unit. She's a link now. She's not a unit anymore. She's a link. Right? So Oh, there's a real player. No way. I I'm just Jenna. I'm making a video on Jenna. She do, she's not even a front unit. I'm making a video on a back unit. I haven't made a video in so long and this is what I come back to. It's insane. Let's put Arthur. At least my CC will go up. up so, okay. Let's remove this thing here. Just put Percival. Not even a festival. Just put Percival. 8,000 CC. In ungeared. 8,000 in ungeared. In geared, it would have been like 30,000. This is what we're dealing with here. Ludicrous. It's like, oh, she doesn't have dupes. Well, Percival doesn't have a, a holy relic either. You know? It doesn't even have full cosmetics either. Jenna does. <sighs> Losing my mind. <laughs> Losing my mind. You know, I should have done this. I should have put Percival in the front. Roxy's a link. I just wanted to go all, like, full on balls to the walls damage, but it's just not feasible anymore. It really isn't. Those days are, are gone. The days of glass cannon, balls to the walls damage teams. I thought it was a bot. So I didn't even I, I completely disregarded the possibility of dodge food. The fact that we're facing three players in a row is actually nuts. So I think I lost track because I was so baffled that the passive didn't work. I hope I hope I get refunded. I hope the passive is just bugged and I get refunded. But they don't they don't refund anymore. They just say, oops, you summon a character that doesn't work? Oops. Anyways. What are the odds Jenna is related to the possible collab with- Oh, wait. Is it gonna work this time? It- It doesn't work. The passive doesn't work. Oh, you- You- You, you bastard. The hand, Zahando, is right here. You're supposed to work in the back. Was, was the translation wrong? I, I am more inclined to believe that unit doesn't work than the translation being wrong. I'm gonna be real with you. Much more inclined to believe. I need... Well, Askren's gonna die, but... I need... them to kill a unit. Ah, do I care? I need to test if, the, if, like, the second half of her passive only works in the front, or if it's not working at all. Let me retranslate this. It could be... This is the Holy Relic. It could be wrong. Right? It could be wrong. The translation could have been wrong. I don't think it is, but... When a human ally is incapacitated during the enemy's turn, grants all enemies an effect of increasing damage... I... I don't believe that she does a debuff that doesn't show up. You know what I mean? Like, 
I don't believe this shit does a... a, a, a permanent debuff to all enemies that just makes them take more damage without displaying it. I don't think that's what's going on here, if I'm being very honest with you. I think that the unit just doesn't work. I think that's the most likely explanation. I'll play one more. In the power of Jedi I trust. This is a bot, right? Whatever, man. I don't care. Why did I even put Roxy on my team before? Does Asker need that shitty second hit that she provides? I don't think so. Why did I even put it? Am I am I stupid? Don't answer that. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't want you personally. Yes, you. David? Just say anything. I'm done with your shit, man. You specifically, David. That's Arthur, let's make use of the 22% Arcalia stats. <gasps> he crit! <gasps> Nanashi! <gasps> he crit! <gasps> no way! The 22% Arcalia stat! It exists! It, it's real! The Jenna passive is real! Whatever, man. <laughs> 